I, uh, my name is Vlado Perkovic. I'm uh, the provost at the University of New South Wales and a nephrologist and, and clinical trialist in kidney disease. So the FLOW trial is really important because it addresses a fundamental um, need and clinical problem in that it addresses the growing burden of diabetic kidney disease, which is still the leading cause of kidney failure in most developed countries. It's a very common cause of kidney disease around the world, um, and it's associated with a high risk of kidney failure, high risk of cardiovascular events, a high risk of death, a reduced quality of life, and very high resource requirements. So we need more treatments and better treatments. We did the FLOW trial because the GLP-1 receptor agonists um, that had been trialled in cardiovascular disease in non-CKD populations had suggested that these drugs might have specific kidney effects, but there hadn't yet been a trial that aimed to specifically ask this question, does a GLP-1 receptor agonist, in this case semaglutide, prevent major kidney and other outcomes in people with diabetic kidney disease? So the FLOW trial en enrolled participants who had type 2 diabetes um, and who had established kidney disease. And that was defined as an EGFR between 25 and 75 and a UACR um, between 100 and 5,000 milligrams per gram. So these were people who already had um, established kidney damage as uh, illustrated by the proteinuria and reduced kidney function uh, as illustrated by the low EGFR. Um, they were then randomized one-to-one -to, -one to either weekly uh, semaglutide, one milligram subcutaneously, or a matching placebo in a double blind fashion. And they were followed um, until uh, we'd, the plan was for them to be followed until we'd uh, had 854 of them reach the primary study outcome. And the primary outcome was a composite of kidney failure, needing dialysis or transplantation or reaching an EGFR persistently below 15, a halving in kidney function, or, uh, an e or a, um, a death due to kidney or cardiovascular disease. So the key findings are that the primary outcome was reduced uh, by 24%, a highly statistically significant uh, result, p-value 0.0003, and the trial was actually stopped early by the data monitoring committee um, after 550 events in pre-specified interim analysis because of the magnitude and clarity of that benefit. And that benefit was consistent across the various components of that primary outcome. We pre-specified three key secondary outcomes that were tested in a hierarchical fashion. Um, the first was rate of loss of uh, EGFR or EGFR slope. And we showed that kidney function was um, reduced more slowly in people treated with semaglutide compared to placebo. The second was cardiovascular events, and these were reduced also significantly by 18% in the semaglutide treated participants. And, and the third was all cause mortality, and death due to any cause was also reduced, in this case, by 20% with semaglutide. So clear benefits across the spectrum of cardiometabolic conditions and all, all cause mortality. We also um, looked carefully at safety and the safety profile overall was quite reassuring. The total number of serious adverse events were lower in the semaglutide compared to the placebo arm. There was a slightly higher rate of discontinuation due to adverse effects, as has been seen with really all trials of GLP-1 receptor agonists, primarily due to gastrointestinal side effects, but this affected a minority of participants and the difference between the two groups was of the magnitude of a couple of percentage points overall. So the safety profile was very reassuring um, and the benefits for kidney outcomes, for cardiovascular outcomes and for death were quite substantial. The findings of the flow trial are really important because they add another bow to our quiver when it comes to improving outcomes for people with diabetes and kidney disease. We've already had uh, proven benefits on kidney outcomes of SGLT2 inhibitors, um, of renin angiotensin system inhibitors, and mineralocorticoid preceptor antagonist specifically finerenone. And this trial now adds the GLP-1 receptor agonist semaglutide to that list. So that's another treatment now that we can use to reduce the risk of kidney failure, reduce the risk of cardiovascular events, and to help people live longer if they've got diabetes and kidney disease. So that's why it's really important um, uh, as a trial and as an addition to the evidence in this condition. So the, the results here are quite compelling and um, clear cut. Um, we 
have looked started looking at combinations of treatments. We've recently published an additional paper in Nature Medicine showing that the um, effects are consistent um, overall in people with um, being treated with background SGLT2 inhibitors, highlighting the additive benefits of combination therapy. And this is an important, I think, next step. But really the main key next step is to find a way to get these drugs to the people who need them and can benefit from them. So looking at how we implement the results of this trial into routine clinical practice is going to be critical for us. Thank you.